Hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Mutia Ivan's show. Mutia Ivan's here, and I'm so excited to be talking to you. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, do not forget to share with friends, family, everyone you know. Okay? Good. Thumbs up for the video to help me reach more people. Uh, today, we are going to talk about Charles Njonjo. If you like, you can also call him Sir Charles Njonjo and I'll share with you and tell you in a few why he got the title Sir. Well, he was in Kenya. I'm from Kenya. Born in Kenya, anyway. Uh, so, we unfortunately lost Njonjo two days ago. He died at the age of 101 years old and that was a huge, huge, huge and long life for him so there's a lot he has done for himself and for this country and so it's very important if you remember him and so I've, I have 10 interesting facts you didn't know about Charles Njonjo that will really really interest you and excite you okay well the first one is of course that he lived to 101 years not very many people achieve that age or get to that age of over 100 years in fact most people not even uh, get to their 80th birthday but for him who was born in on the 23rd uh, day of january 1920 he was almost 102 years in fact he was a month or so to 102 years and so he really really had a long life that's something probably you didn't know but now you know two he was the only surviving member of kenya's first cabinet that was formed in 1963 after our independence if you're watching this video and you're not a kenyan uh, it's important for you to uh, to know that in 1963 is when we got our independence and so this gentleman was part of the very first cabinet that uh, really took over from the British uh, uh, colony or the, the British power anyway. Number three, he got married at 52 years and that may explain the reason he has really lived to 102 years. Some people get married so early in life and by the time they are 50 they are too old and uh, they have done everything. Uh, but for him, he remained single, not married, until the age of 52. In fact, some people say, claim that the president who pushed him to get married, even at 52, he wasn't ready to get married yet. Uh, but the president pushed him to get married, saying he was not ready to continue being advised by a bachelor. So he got married and uh, he lived all the way to 102 years. He's also been uh, very vocal on why men should, broke men should not be planning for marriages or getting married. Instead, they should be looking for ways to gain wealth and become financially free and free of debt as well. So that's something else that is really exciting about Sir Charles Njonjo. At 52, you can imagine, at 52, you're getting married. Number four, he was the Kenya's first attorney general. 1963 and 1979 that was a cool how many years um and minus three that's six 16 years for 16 years or so he was kenya's attorney general before he got into politics yes probably one of the longest serving uh, attorney generals in now in the history of our country five he always wore three-piece suits. They were his brand. Of course, comes with the lapel flower, the red lapel flower that he always had on his lapels. And that became his brand. They had to be three-piece and pinstriped with the stripes. And so that became his brand. And that's one of the reasons why he got the title Sir because he was ever looking smart and in those good suits that he only got from London, nowhere else. It's also rumored that most of those suits were only 
uh, cleaned in London, only in London. So you would have them flown to London for cleaning and then back. And that, that's why he was quite a gentleman and people thought he deserved the hate of sir. Six, he resigned from the Attorney General position to become an MP. Something that most people never do, but he really wanted to serve the people. So he did and he got a seat and he served the people. Number seven, he supported Rao, Raila Amolo Oringa, who is um, expected to be vying for the presidency in the upcoming general elections in a few months. He has always been a supporter of Raila Odinga. He believes in him. He believes in his ideas, his ideology, his um, uh, vision. And so he has always been very vocal on why Raila Amolo Odinga should be given a chance to also rule this country. And hopefully that wish of his will come to uh, reality uh, in the upcoming elections that we expect in a few months. Number eight. Charles Njonjo convinced Kenyatta, who was our founding president, founding father, our first president, to appoint Moy as the vice president. That was after Murumbi, who was the first vice president, uh, decided to step aside or to step down as the VP. So it's Njonjo who convinced Mr. Kenyatta, Mr. Jomo Kenyatta, to elect or to appoint Moi as the vice president. Moi went ahead to become the president after the death of Mr. Kenyatta or Mze Kenyatta in 1979. Yes, 1979 and took over from him and he ruled this country for over 20 years. The longest any president has been in power in this country. That was Moi for you. Uh, today in Jonjo, Till his death, he never wanted to say much about their relationship with Moy because they fell out at some point, but that's a story for another day. Today we are only talking about Sir Charles Njonjo. Number nine, he was ever eating healthy and keeping fit. Even at 100, you'd see him driving around, driving to work at 100 years old. He was eating very healthy, vegetarian, Never did a lot of meat. In fact, never did nyama choma. He also worked out. You'd see him in the treadmill every now and then. Walking, swimming at that age. Some of you are just in your 20s and you're too lazy to get into the waters. And uh, yes, swim and run and do something that really keeps you fit. But that tells you if you really want to live to those many for those many years, you really need to check your your health. Yes, by working out, exercising, checking what you eat and everything else in between. Finally, finally, this man ate Ugali for the very first time when he joined Alliance High School. Now you understand why he got the title, sir. Ugali is a staple food in Kenya. To most families, it's the meal that is enjoyed four times in a week, four out of seven times a week. But for him, he first took Ugali when he joined Alliance High School. And so that also tells he was brought up in a really, really well up family. And he went ahead to also bring up a very good family. This man was wealth, wealthy, uh, probably uh, close to a billion in uh, wealth and so his family will really uh, enjoy uh, what he has left behind and uh, he had a taste for good things of course that's why he is Sir Charles Njonjo and you, when you see a man dressed good that tells you everything else he does everything that he has must be of good taste as well those are the 10 interesting facts you probably never knew about Sir Charles Njonjo. We really, uh, may his soul uh, rest in peace. He has been uh, very vocal in politics and we've learned a lot. Some of us read about Charles Njonjo in history, well in primary school 
and that will continue happening in the coming years thank you so much 10 minutes of 10 facts see you in the next video my name is Mutia Evans remember to like this video subscribe and see you in the very next one so good